Hey, what is up guys? Phoenix here, and today we're going to be building a Metroid pixel art. So, first off, I'm going to go over the color palette for you guys, which is going to be black, white, red, and green. So it looks almost like uh, Christmas colors, kind of, I don't freaking know. But yeah, so this is going to be our colors, and I'm going to start it off in the sky. So first off, what we're going to do is just have two blocks flat like that floating in the air. And that's going to start your pixel art. And let me get rid of these. Alright, so this pixel art is semi-symmetrical, so we're just going to do the left side first like we usually do. We're going to come up and to the left, two flat, like this. And we're going to work from this final block right here. From this final block, we're going to come down two. And then on from above it, we're going to put one, two, like that. So we came down two, and then from the top, we added two right there, to the, going to the left. And now from here, we're going to take this final block again, put one on top, and then extend it over three more to the left. So after we have this original block, we just add one, two, three, and a row like that. Now let's work from down here. So from down here now, we're going to come down into the left one, then up into the left one from that block. Then we're going to come up into the left two flat. So two flat like that. And for right here, we're going to do something a little bit interesting. We're going to extend this one down. Like you see this gap right here? We're going to fill the gap in and then add blocks over to wherever the gap was filled in at. So the gap was like, it's hard to explain it. We just put one, two, and extended it over. Now what you're going to do is come to the bottom of right here. Come down to the left two flat. And now we're going to start going up and to the left. So come up and to the left, one. Then three, vertical, not flat. One, two, three. Then one again. We're all just working off the final block. Then six, vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to start coming inward. So coming inward now, we're going to come up and to the right, three vertical, then two vertical, then four single blocks. So one, and this is all going up and to the right, two, three, four. Next, from this final block, we're going to come up and to the right, two flat. And then up and to the right for the peak of our pixel art, eight flat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is going to be at the highest point in our pixel art, and we're going to do the opposite side until it meets up here. So let's go back down to the start of our pixel art. And we're technically just going to copy what we did over here, over there. So I'm going to do this part a little bit faster, but I'm still going to explain it just in case I didn't explain it so well over here. So from right here, we're going to come up and to the right now. Up and to the right, two flat blocks. Then from this final block, we're going to come down to, and on top of it, we're going to put one and then come over to the right one, like so. Now what we're going to do is from the bottom piece, we're going to come down into the right one, then up into the right one. Now we're going to go back up to the top now like we did before, put one on top and extend it over three to the right, one, two, three. Now from here where we have this bottom right, I mean this piece coming up into the right, we're going to come up into the right two flat. And we're stuck at that gap we had before, remember the gap from right here, we filled it in with two rows of three, so we're going to do that again. So fill in the gap and extend it over an extra block. Now we're going to come to the bottom right here and come down into the right two flat, then up into the right one. And from here we'll start building up into the right until we hit the outermost part of the pixel art, which should be after, we're going to put three vertical up into the right from here, so one, two, three, then one vertical, I mean one 
up and to the right. Then six up and to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to come up and to the left until we meet up with up there. So to make it meet up, what we're going to do is come up and to the left, three vertical, then two, then four sets of one. So one, two, three, four, then up and to the left, two flat, like so. So this is the basic shape for our Metroid. And now let's fill in a little bit of detail. So we're going to start coming off of right there and right there on each side. So let's start on the left side. Coming off of right here, we're going to come up and to the left, one. Then up and to the left, three flat. And it should meet up right back at that spot right there. Don't. Oh, wait. I did something wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Let me re undo that. So coming right here, what we're going to do is put one two on top of this and let's do that to the opposite side one two on the final two blocks then we're going to come up into the left <coughs> up into the left one then up into the left three flat and on this final block come down one and let's do that to the opposite side if you can see the general shape we can easily copy it up into the right one then up into the right three flat Now, let's do a little bit of detail. So, coming in right here, on both sides, we're going to put this white. And the reason I'm doing some details is because to do the inner part of it, we need some of the details, I mean the outer colors done, just so it's easier for us to do the framework. And right here, we're going to do one, two, this bottom row, then the next row full. And then just bring it up to here, like so. And then everything else is going to be red, 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 red. So we'll leave this last one blank. So take a look at that for a second. And I'll redo it on the opposite side just in case I didn't explain it well enough. So bottom row, all white. Next row, all white. Extend this one up until it's equal to this. Then everything will be red except for that corner piece right there. Next, we're going to switch to our light green wool, and we're going to do some work with that. So, starting right here, we're going to put one light green there. Come over here, extend this all the way up. Then, move up and to the right at a diagonal. We're not going to fill this block in right there. See, I'm not putting that there. We're going to put up and to the right, continue to fill it. Up and to the right again, continue to fill that. And then, just trace along here for now. Just keep tracing. We're not filling in like blocks like those. It's only at diagonals we're filling it in at. And now, um, we did the outer perimeter, but it comes inward too off of this. So from here, we're gonna extend it over to this on top of this black right here. And then we're gonna come down to the right here, two. So instead of doing the one diagonal, we're actually putting two here. Then we're extending down from here, three. Then we're extending down from here, three again. And then the next row, we're just going to bring it all the way across. And I'll just mimic what you did over there on this side. So we extended this all the way over, then came down at a diagonal of two, then three, then three. And I'll zoom out for you guys. Actually, before I zoom out, let me you fill in this bottom part green as well. So you guys can see how it looks now. It's coming along pretty well. We're about to do the inner details, and then we'll be finished. <coughs> um, let me see if I can go to sleep. All right, so next off, what we're going to do is a little bit of detail work. So... 
we're going to come to the up right right here up and to the right you see where we have these two verticals right here we're going to come down into the left of it and actually we're going to add a little bit more detail with the light green so what we want to do is we're going to have two one one and we'll bring this down two actually we don't have to so what we're gonna do um sorry about that what we're gonna do is go to sleep actually because now I can't even see properly so that's why I'm making my mistakes all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our black wool and from this center we're gonna put two right here and we're gonna layer it um six times so one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the sixth one, we'll switch to our red wool and we'll start working from there. So on top of these two blocks, we're going to put red, red, then up into the right and up into the left, one red, like so. Then we're going to fill this first layer in with white, next layer with white. And then a third layer, just like the first layer, like this. And then just mimic this red shape upside down. So it should look like this. Then from there, at the top right here, what we're going to do is come up and to the left, two vertical. Then up and to the right, four flat. Then up and to the right, one. Next, what we're going to do is come down into the left from this piece right here. Down into the left, one red. And then from here, we're going to make the next one of these looking cell thingies. So we're going to come down into the right from this red, one. Then we're going to add a white below it, then a red. And from there, we're going to put down into the left two flats. And we're going to come up into the left one flat. Up into the left two vertical. Then up into the right one red. We'll put a white in between these two, and then everything in the center right here will be white. Uh, I hope I'm doing the tutorial correctly because I do know this is a lot of detail and I'm trying my best to explain it without just saying here goes there, that goes there. Um, I'm trying to make sure you guys have the right diagonals and stuff. So coming off of this block now, we're going to come up and to the left, two vertical. Like so. Then up and to the left, three vertical. Three vertical. Then up and to the left, one. Then from here, we're going to put two blacks to the left, and we'll switch to our red again, put one red after that, and then we'll come up and to the left, two flat reds. And then we're done on this side. So now we have to do a third one of these little red and white thingies on the right side of it, and then we'll be done. So we're going to copy exactly what we did for this one. You see the general shape of the red thing? down into the right from here. <clears throat> so coming down into the right from this red one, we'll mimic what we did right here. So you see we did this and we came inward, so we put one right there, down into the left of red, then a white below it, then a red below that. Then we'll come down into the right two flat, up into the right one red, up into the right two vertical then up into the left one block and from there we'll fill in like we did before and we're almost done with the pixel art so what we're going to do before we finally fill in everything with black is we're going to come up into the right from this block 
up into the right two flat, down into the right two flat. And then what we're gonna do is switch to our white wool and come to right here. So once we come to this piece right here, this four strip we had, we'll put two blacks to the right of it, then a white. And from this white wool, we'll come down one, right one, down one, right one, down again, and that's it. <laughs> So for the rest of the pixel art now, we're just going to fill everything in with black, and I will time lapse that for you guys. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, your Metroid pixel art. And it came out pretty nicely actually, it looks all alien and creepy. So be sure to leave a like on the video guys if you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll also be doing, um, I'm, I got some requests over Twitter and I'll be finishing those up tomorrow if I can. I have to find the right um, base or whatever that I want to build because I don't really just want to do random ones, I just want to choose one that I actually enjoy building. So I'll be looking through some pixel art um, ideas. I have a folder full of stuff that I might want to build or concepts. And yeah, be sure to leave a like on the video, a comment with what you want to see built if you have suggestions, or just leave a like. Um, I'll be leaving a link to the Twitter and the Facebook page in the description box. So be sure to check those. Uh, be sure to check those out for more updates to the videos. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Phoenix Death One, and I'm signing out.